Welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6 Expert. Where today we're about to go on a bee hunt. Uh, but we are getting some cold coke and we're going to have to do something with this creosote oil at some point. Uh, we can actually use it for power. Uh, and like the compression dynamo or something and it might be a good use for it. Although treated wood. Treated wood is also good. But uh, to get ourselves the steel bee um, we need this induction smelter. Now I've looked up the recipe for like machine frames and stuff, so most of the stuff isn't too bad. We can, we can make all this with things we've got. We'll just have to do a little bit of crafting. Uh, but invar was one thing we didn't have. Now we can craft invar by exploding phyto grow iron and nickel, which wouldn't be too bad. We've, we could do this, or we could use lightning. Uh, but we could also make ourselves an invar bee. And I just realized that's not going to work because you need... <laughs> to get the invar bee you need to smelt it in the, the induction smelter. Well, okay, so we're going to be crafting some invar with lightning. No, you were tough. Uh, but we're going to go for for getting the bee for it as well. And also, starting to process up all the ores uh, that were built up over at our crush room, which has been working away. So yeah, I'm gonna go find the bees. I think I can find them in the nether pretty easily. Rocky bees are in the mountain. Uh, then we can breed a copper bee from the rocky bee and the skeleton bee, a nickel bee, copper bee, and an RGB. And we've found RGB ones. Um, this one's to make the copper bee. Just the rock and the stone. Yes. So these two we can buy to make the copper. Copper, we can use the RGB to make the nickel. And then we still need to lightning craft or explosion craft a little bit of invar to get us started with that induction smelter. And work on some power as well. But uh, let's head out. That's the wrong book, although I have not. I've not been doing my prayers. Though nothing's been happening for a while, so I suspect I might have to do something different than, than just doing that. But hey, these bees should be reasonably easy to find. Uh, well, that's a zombie. We probably want one. We probably want one. This seems like a weird place. Seems like a weird place for a zombie. I take it back. It was not easy to find that guy. <laughs> now I'm gonna assume it might be a rocky bee in there. We'll take him. We'll take him. So that's the rocky bee done. Uh, I've got a bit of junk, but... Oh, that's got a forest bee in it. Right. No, we want to... We want to make sure that we have at least two rocky bees so we can breed more if we need them. Unfortunately, that's the first one I've come across and this is not the first mountain I've looked at. Well, that's not a rocky bee, but a yeti bee. And I guess we take that. Is probably used for something. This area looks like it would be the perfect place for rocky bees, but um, no. Well, this terrain is. Oh, this is really cool. You're building your base here. It would be a little bit of a pain without flight. This is it a bee's nest? It is not. It was a little bit of scoria. Oh, there he is. There he is. The rocky bee. All right. There's even something in there. A forest bee. Why are there forest bees in there? Cool. And not quite a skeleton bee. Things are looking good.
A skeleton bee. Cool. Um, oh, what's oh? There's another skeleton bee. Ah, ah. <coughs> Missed. Mate. Nice. Now, actually, what sort of flowers do you like? Any flowers? Rocky bee likes. Any flowers? Copper bee. <coughs> Any flowers? Okay, cool. Cool. So, Rocky Bee and Skeleton Bee. You make Copper Bee. Copper Bee. And you're going to live in here for a while because we need a couple. Um, and then we'll replace you with this Rocky Bee and this is a Skeleton Bee. Rocky bee, skeleton bee. Nice. And after a bit of time to grow up, and this this hive is smoked, so this should be okay. Still a little bit uh, nervous. Uh, let me release a couple of. That's not an RGB. Well, an RGB and a copper bee. So one for you and one for you. Hey, we have a nickel bee. And then... I don't know which copper bee... Wait, can these guys breed instantly? Oh, they can't. Uh, we need a RGB. Go. Make nickel bee. Yeah. All right. There's t there's too many bees in here. Cool. All right. So our nickel bees are producing nickel honeycombs now. So we're almost there. Uh, <laughs> we just need the induction smelter, and then I mean we might even have enough iron honeycomb. We definitely do. So to get ourselves this induction smelter, I'm going to flog one of the blast furnaces I just had sitting around there. Um, we're going to need some wire cutters. And this may also be when I figure out that uh, I don't have enough copper, which is a distinct possibility. So we've got a hammer. Um, we need... So we need a bunch of these copper coils. Four, each of them is two, so we need, I don't know, 16 of these. There's our two copper coils. Um, either two aluminum or two iron. We need a gold rod and some gold nuggets and some redstone. I'm trying to use the, re like the overflow redstone I've got here. Um, I think that's... we don't need that many. Yeah, because we need the rod. Then that. Then that. Machine frames, glass panes, and some more iron plates. Hey, our first machine frame. Cool. And I'm gonna get rid of that zombie. Yeah. Too noisy. I really need to move the villagers away from uh, our house. And then the last iron plate. And then all we're short of now is the Invar gears. And we can do that with Invar dust. And yeah, we're going to get it from the bees, but uh, we need the, the induction smelter before we can do that. So some phyto grow, some iron dust, and some nickel dust. Now, can we crush iron like this? No, but I think we can check it in the crushing wheel. So, I mean, let's get a decent amount. So, if we got, I guess, two stacks of that, and then we need one stack of nickel. And then... Two stacks of phyto grow. Nice. 
And I have lightning arrows here. And people have talked about making uh, lightning snowballs. Which... Okay. Me clad in a bottle. Okay, so we could make a bunch of them. And I guess they're saying you, like, you can use the, the snowballs to make more snowballs. I, I see, I see. We've got plenty of uh, lightning arrows. So I don't think I'll bother. Just yet, but yeah, we're going to need that crushed and that crushed. And that's actually going to take a little bit. And then we're going to go do some, uh, some crafting in the crafting hole. And that'll be the nickel. And then we need to think about power. Now, uh, somebody else also mentioned that, uh, you know, the end of the 16 spent a lot of time on the quests and you should probably pay attention to them, which I've not been doing. I'm terrible for not reading the quests. Uh, so we're going to get Invar Dust, cool, and then we're going to get the Induction Smelter, nice. And a Sterling Dynamo, that is actually the other thing we need. And hey, that's pretty simple. I'll, I think I'll whip up two of these, maybe three. I've got, I've got an idea of a passive way we can power this. And here's one Sterling Dynamo. I actually wanted more than that. Oh, I'm missing some other stuff. Uh, and I think I just used the... Redstone Fox Coil, I was planning on using for that thing. Right. Um, I was just, ooh, that's a lot of them. Yeah, I made a whole bunch of pistons which chewed up my smooth stone. Or my, yeah, my smooth stone. So that would get us the three. I feel like I'm going to be using something I wanted, but. Cool. Oh, no, we still just need our invite gears. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This is processing. I had to go mining to get more copper because, yeah, this is the last of my copper. Um, so we needed nickel dust and the iron dust and the phyto grow, right? Yes. And lightning craft. Nice. And that's finished a quest. Uh, which I thought was here. Yes, so that was our getting the alloy furnace thing. And then we need the induction smelter itself, which shouldn't be too bad now. Get a couple. Oh, we need the invar ingots. I need to smelt that. That is fair. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure where I want to start setting up power. I mean, I guess we got all of this room here, and hey, these are full of creosote oil. Which we could use. Now we can use it for like wood. For like making treated wood, right? Treated. Yeah. Be good if we can extract. Oh, we can trade for it too. Mm. Oh, if we drop the liquid on the ground. Hey, that's kind of cool. A little bit sidetracked. But if we were to grab out this. Hey, I, I like that better than the other way of doing it. Okay, cool. Uh, not what we're doing right now, but sweet. Grab some environments and oh, they've got all sorts of stuff in there. Uh, two invagies. An induction smelter. Awesome. So I think we could probably craft steel with this. Slime steel ingots. Cool. Oh, you can process ores on it and you get slag back. That is kind of handy actually. You don't double, you get a bonus. Hmm, and boostable. Boostable. Interesting. So we can make steel with coal coke dust. Okay, so we could do it in the induction smelter. That's kind of cool. So we've got a whole bunch of coal coke. Yeah, yeah. Anyhow, let's set this guy up. Um, now, we haven't made any power cables. That didn't really... Right, we need to rotate that. 
I'm picking we can't use this wrench. No. Nice. A crescent hammer. Uh, just since I don't have any power cables yet. And then we rotate these. Admittedly, we probably only need one for powering this. Hey, chuck that in there. You build up some power. We can craft an invar bee, right? So we need an empty bee jar, two iron honeycomb, and a nickel honeycomb. Uh, this is my bee backpack. So is it two iron honeycombs? And a nickel one, and you probably just need to go harvest the nickel once again. Now, admittedly, now that we have Invar, it's not as big a deal. Um, but now that we have the alloy smelter, we can just make Invar in that. So we don't really need the bees for that. And I guess the same is true for steel. But I mean, it's just going to be a nice little bit of uh, passive, passive steel production. So, one of these, two of these, and I just want to kind of want to see the recipe work. And let's get some bee jars. Now, yeah, we probably do want two. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. So, iron, nickel, bee jar. Uses a bit of power. Oh, this guy stopped though. Oh, you can't use that for fuel. That's fine. And hey, an Invar B. Nice. And then... Oh, I'm gliding. Oh, did I use my iron? I should have used my iron for the steel B. <laughs> but uh, we should be reasonably close to being able to get one of these. I'll just... Uh, oh. I'll just have some more iron. Okay, so this should be uh, all we need. So grab these coke bricks, and we probably will end up processing a bunch of um, a bunch of steel in that induction smelter. But for now, no wait. Oh wait, was it two? That's only one. Good, good. Bee jar, iron honeycomb, block of cold coke, and that's going to be a steel bee. And, I mean, now that we have this induction smelter... Nice, nice, nice. Um, we could, of course... Just do cold cake dust, and it has to be the dust. I mean, which is fine, and I may as well... I don't know if we use this for anything else. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's just used. Making steel, so we, we we may as well process all of that and then smelt up a bunch of steel in that induction smelter. But hey, we got a steel bee and we have a Envar bee somewhere. Envar bee. Um, it would be nice to have, you know, more than one. Uh, and I'm not sure. Can we breed them and do we get like a chance of either bee? They're very similar looking. Um, I kind of just want the steel bee anyway, but we'll leave them just hanging out in here. Um, I think soon we need to work on upgrading the tiers of beehives. Um, we're probably running a little bit low on time to, to, to dig into these other bits and pieces. We need to do like a sequenced assembly, which shouldn't be too bad actually. Oh, we need to superheat, so we need to make a blaze cake. Which we can do, we can do. Um, maybe we should get just a little basic chicken farm going um, to get us eggs. And yeah, that, that shouldn't be too bad to get. And then we've got everything else. We've made them. Cool, and then we'll have the centrifuge, and we have power. Uh, which, I'm probably not going to set up the generation for it right now. My plan is uh, bamboo. It's kind of like a vanilla style. Um, 
normally like you'd use it for infinite fuel for your furnaces but i'm pretty sure and we should probably confirm i'm pretty sure you know we're gonna need some more power in this uh we'll we'll just i'm we getting a quest for coal um right that uses less power cool there we go so that's going to get us a whole bunch of steel which probably used for stuff oh, we could make basic universal cables 3000 iron for tech i'd say we probably make them for power transfer because i don't think i don't think thermal has its own power like flux conduits no they're still not a thing i mean i guess steel is a little bit expensive but i do i do quite like the the mechanism ones are then cool so that's done sweet uh obviously this isn't gonna stay like this but that's cool that's cool so we've got steel production going we've got a steel b so we have technically infinite steel it's, it's just not gonna be super fast with with one b uh but yeah we'll come back next time and i think we should be pretty good for crafting the centrifuge getting some bamboo power going just for you know maintenance free uh power generation and upgrading some beehives i think we need to do that and we're probably gonna have to change how we've got this set up because i think the upgraded beehives hold more bees and a one by one like a one a one block space it's probably done enough for like four bees but anyway, it's a big classic stuff thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one